What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts with Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Um, fantastic. I might go do some jokes tonight. Gonna try out some things. It might work. Maybe they'll bomb. I don't know. But I I went to the groceries today for my dad, and uh, you know, I almost started crying when I got back to the car because you walk through the groceries, it's like Night of the Living Dead. I'm not even joking, like, these people are just, you see these people who are by themselves pushing these grocery carts. In LA, you see these vibrant young people, and here you're seeing people in the back nine, and you know, obviously I started thinking about, you know, my mom, when she was, like, using a walker and stuff in the last, you know, month and whatever, because she had no energy. And uh, I was like, Jesus Christ, is this what's coming for all of us? And then I saw this Woody Allen quote. And they asked him, you YouTube this. It said, Woody Allen on life. And he's like, life is, is awful. It's filled with so much misery. And I was thinking about that. Man, it is. It's filled with so much disappointment and death and just horrific things you think you would never see. And they're right in front of you. It's like, Jesus Christ. Are we living in like this purgatory? Maybe we're all like sinners living in like Satan's lair. I don't know. Anyway, there's a there's a point to this. So I get through all of this, uh, and I make it back home, and I help my dad and all this stuff. And and then I was thinking about um, um, how positive my mom was. You know, like she was really just, she never complained. I wrote a book, which I'm going to release at some point. But my mom was always positive, and I think that's the the key, right? Like, even though... Everyone goes through their own shit, pretty much. Everyone's gonna, everyone goes through their own personal, private Vietnam that nobody else sees. Like, I don't care what you see on Instagram. Hi, how are you? Take your TikTok dance and uh, dance into a lake. Everyone goes through their own private hell. But it's really about focusing on the positive of what you can give back to the world. And I've talked about this. That's how I live my life. And, and that's how I'm going to survive my days. I was like, you know, even... If it's filled with massive disappointment, and trust me, I've got a journal here. I've got this gratitude slash grief journal that's just filled with so much. Even despite it all, I feel like we've got to find some kind of way to just, you know, put something back into the world. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I think that is my lifeline if I expect to uh, make it through the next, you know, 30, 40 years. If I go before that, hey... I'm okay with that too. It's fine. But I really thought about that. And I thought about all those people in the grocery store, like how, what their gifts were. Like who knows what they gave to society, you know, in their lifetime. Maybe maybe they're artists. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're uh, just normal blue collar people, you know, helping society. Like whatever, whatever they want to give to the world. Because, you know, we're only here for a blink of an eye. And uh, it won't be long before I'm in some grocery store. Actually, I'm in a grocery store right now. What am I talking about? <laughs> Heck, like 40 years. I'm there today. Now, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it won't be long until I might be needing assistance, you know, wondering, man, that was a quick life. So, man, get as good as you can. Polish it. Put yourself out there. Go through the bad shows. Go through the bad days. And let everything just, you know, fall where it is, I think. Again. Not telling you how to live your life it could be totally off. In fact, I am probably totally off. Don't listen to me. But that's what I surmised as I was pushing my grocery cart through this wasteland of senior citizens. Hope you guys have a great week. Take care.